Hey guys, what is up? What is happening? What is going on with you today? I am Ashley with AHM Artistry and as a part of my whole holiday makeup series that I have going on doing reviews and eye tutorials and everything like that, I picked up the Urban Decay Honey Pot Holiday Set. This set contains some minis and some full sizes, some things that we're going to test out today and I want to see if it's worth the coin because this pretty puppy is $59. $59. Bucks, so it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap and I wanna see if it's worth it. I really wanted to dabble in it cause it seemed like a nice little way of getting a little touch of honey but without having to do the whole big 12 pan palette and you get a little mix of honey products there. So we're gonna be testing that out today. We're gonna be trying that all on my face and see how the pigmentation is and the blendability and show you swatches and do details and all of that mumble jumble. P.S. If you are new to my channel, new to my face, new to this mug right here, I would love it if you would consider at any point in time during the video if we're driving together, you know, if everything seems to be copacetic, you would go down and hit that little red subscribe button. That way you get notified when I post more videos, which is about three times a week. And I would love to have you part of my little fan bam that we have over here. Like I said, lots of holiday launches to review and talk about right now, but also outside of this series, I am posting regular beauty videos as well too. So if you're not like super into all things holiday and everything like that, don't worry. It's both. Okay. Okay, all right. But anyways, enough jibber jabbing. If you guys want to see all of this honey pot stuff slathered on my eyes, slathered on my face, see how easy it is to create an eye look or if it's difficult and everything like that, then you're in the right place. So all you need to do now is uh, sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. Beep. <laughs> All right, so let's talk swatches and details really, really quickly. I'll pop up on the screen right here, all of the swatches of everything, except obviously the setting spray. So first up, I have the eyeshadow primer potion in Honey. Now, if you saw my whole holiday haul video, then you already know that this thing is pigmented and gold and glittery and metallic, and it shocked me. So that is right. That is what you're seeing there on the screen. That swatch is, it doesn't mess around. So it might be like a good base for a cut crease, or a spotlight or halo or something. I don't know, we'll play around, we'll have some fun today. And then of course, then you have the six eyeshadow swatches. I just put them from lightest to darkest instead of in order of the palette. And I honestly was surprised. I feel like they are swatching better than they look in the actual palette. The palette I feel like looks very light and I was kind of taken back because in pictures it looked a little bit darker and closer to the Naked Honey palette. So I was hoping that I could go with this and not have to get the big Naked Honey palette, but swatches a little bit darker so we'll play with it today we'll see if that is good and if it feels like that satisfies my craving for a little bit of honey shadow or if we need to venture out and then of course the last one is the 24 7 glide on eye pencil in amber which is a gorgeous gorgeous coppery shade with some glittery gold flecks in there and do take note that all of the shadows in this little mini palette are exclusive with this palette i didn't see any ones at least with the same shade names in the full size naked honey there are a couple that kind of look similar but i'd have to swatch it side by side and i don't own the naked honey palette to see if they really Really are different. Of course I can't swatch it, but the last thing that's included in the box is the All Nighter Setting Spray in the fragrance Honey. Now this is their travel size. It's a one ounce size. The full sizes in the gift set is the eyeshadow primer. This is a full, full size. And then the 24 seven pencil. It does say it has a value of $89 if they were to sell everything separately, but you have to ask yourself, is that a good value for you? $59 is still pretty steep in my opinion. The whole full size 12 pan palette of the Naked Honey is $49. So if you you really, really, really are just interested in the eyeshadows, maybe consider going with that route. But I don't know if you're more interested in the whole like whole set and the whole vibe and you just kind of want a taste of honey and you like all the different pieces, then that might be a good value for you. It just depends what you're looking for and what you're interested in. But I really want to see right now if these products are actually good, if they're blending nice, if they're pigmented and all of that before we even consider purchasing it for ourselves, right? So let's go ahead and get to playing with this eyeshadow stuff, all the eye products first. I already primed and prepped my eyelids kind of I just used the Milani perfect and conceal concealer just underneath my brows because I want to use the primer potion and see how it goes so I didn't really bring it down onto the lids except a little tiny bit on the sides because I think I'm gonna do a spotlight halo eye I mean you guys already saw what I do but I think I'm gonna go for that and I didn't want to mess with that to see how it performs you know so i'm gonna first set underneath my entire eyebrow area with this drizzle shade so this shade does have like a yellow undertone in it so keep that in mind let's see 
Oh yeah, I can kind of see the little, you probably can't see on camera, but in person, it'll blend with the eyeshadow, but I can tell it's a little bit more of a yellow tone. Yeah, it's almost going on darker than in the pan. This is, that's so weird. Those swatches too were darker than the pan is. That rarely happens. That is so interesting. Yeah, this base shade is almost too dark for me. I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. I'm usually a light to light medium in the foundation range if you wanna, you know, use that for reference. So if you're lighter than me, this will really show up basically. But of a deeper skin tone, you probably will be fine, but I don't know how the rest of the shadows will look with deeper skin tones. Oh, I don't know. That is so much darker. Okay, whatever. I don't like that I can see it. Well, hopefully it'll blend. All right, now I'm gonna take my blending brush and dip into Styx. It's this transition shade. These are the only two matte shades in the palette, by the way. I'm sure you noticed that before. Whoa, see? Now that has some pigment. Wow, I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness. This palette is very giving me, like I said, it's giving me mixed signals. It's like in pictures, it looks dark. And then when I got it, it looks light. Now when I'm swatching it and applying it, it's dark, which is good. Like I like this pigmentation. I like that, but let's see how it blends first. Now this shade is very unique in that it blends out very yellow, almost. You just kind of see that. I feel like it's a very marigold meets honey type of shade and I'm not necessarily mad at it. It can get a little bit patchy. So I did have to work at it a little bit more because it wants to blend that yellow. So I had to build up into the crease a little bit, but I think it works. I think it's pretty. Okay. So let's go in now and I'm going to, I don't, I, Blended all over just so I could see how it blends, but I think I'm gonna do like a dripping honey type of situation with the gold and that way I can really test this out. And when I was thinking about it, I was like, that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna take the shade Stun right here and I'm going to deepen up the sides of that to create a little something. I don't know, what am I talking about? So I'm going to pack that on to the sides right here. Is that, is that not pigmented or is that my brush? Let me switch my brush. Okay. Well, that is giving me a ton of fallout. That is a shimmer shade, but it should still pack on fine. This one's watched really nicely. So what's, what's happening? What's up? Okay, another brush. That's not very good pigment now, is it? Okay, so that shade is very light. Is it, I don't, let me, you shouldn't have to use your finger, but let's see if that makes a difference. A little bit. I was thinking because it swatched so good. Yeah, it does work a little better with my finger, which if that's the case, maybe it'll work good with this. Let's see. Cause that's the thing when I was putting my, dipping my brush in, I was like, Ooh, you know what? It's kind of scratchy feeling when I put my brush in it, which means it's very, very dry. And I'm so used to shimmers being so creamy these days that it's a little shocking. Yeah, I think wetting the brush is a little bit better and then you don't have to go in with your finger. I think the shimmers in here just made it like very dry. I would have rather had like a matte shade that this, that was this color. And then I feel like the palette would have been a little more balanced. All right, I just had to go in and wipe off all that fallout that was uh, that happened and I had to use a makeup wipe too because it wasn't wanting to dust away. Uh, <laughs> just word to the wise. Um, I don't usually mind fallout as long as the chowder performs originally, but that one in particular was not. So let's move on and I'm gonna use the eye primer potion now in the shade Honey and I'm just going to slap it on the middle like that. I don't know how fast it dries, so let me do one eye at a time. And I'm just gonna blend it out. Uh, it's not working like I wanted it to. It just pulled up the shadow that was underneath it. So I don't know how to use this then. This, this is weird. Maybe I need to use a brush. Hang on. Brush is a little better, I guess. 
Like, it's supposed to be a good base for these shadows, but like, hello, don't pull up the work that I already did. I don't know. Just odd. Oh, what an odd choice for an eye primer. Okay, well, that's a little like, I wouldn't, mm, I wouldn't personally use it for that. It does say just prime your lids with it. You know, it doesn't say to use it necessarily how I'm using it, but honestly, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't just slather all the gold shimmer all over. And I primed the whole area because I put shadow everywhere. I don't know. Maybe if you just wanted to do like a more neutral look or just, just gold, it might work as a good eye primer. Just cover your mobile lid with it, tap on the gold and head out. But I feel like this gold will probably be fine on its own. I don't feel like it needs the primer potion, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Let me go ahead and take California Honey, that gold shade, and I'm gonna pop it right on top of that. See, now that shade is gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, that's a really, really pretty shade. Ooh, love it. Now, is it helping to have the primer down? Maybe. I feel like this is definitely like more bumped up. So possibly, would any eyeshadow primer work just fine? Possibly, possibly, possibly. I'm gonna extend it over here just to cover up that other shade a little bit. Make it more of like a transition instead of a full statement. I don't know. I'm gonna cover it up because I'm mad at it. <laughs> Honestly. It is really pretty so far. It's had its challenges, but it is turning out nicely. Now I need to do the lower lash line. And I'm not sure what to do because I do want to play with some more shades. This one right here looks more like a topper. It's like very, very light and it's called glaze. So I feel like you're almost supposed to put it on top of something to, uh, yeah, it like barely shows up, barely. What to do, what to do? Well, I mean, I've used four out of six already. I think this will be too dark on the lower lash line, but let's try it. Let's try this one called Buzzed on the lower lash line. And I'm just curious if it is okay, if it's an okay shade. Oh, it's so scratchy too. Ooh, maybe I need to wet this one. We'll find out in a sec. Oh no, that one's nice. That one's nice and metallic-y. Ooh, oh, I like that one. Okay, all right, okay. So just one, one shade is giving me trouble. Let's take a little bit of that honey shade. California honey and pop it in the middle. Yeah, then that makes a really pretty like transition. All right, now let's throw on this liner. So I don't know if I'm gonna do it on the top. Let's do it on the bottom really quickly. I love, love these warm tone, copper tone type of colors from the Urban Decay 24 seven line. They are so pretty. They're my go to. Comment down below if you know my favorite shade. Which one is it? Cause I use it all the time. Ooh, that is so metallic-y. Well, that comes across like straight up gold. Woo! Yeah, okay, so I'm not gonna do that on the top. I am gonna go ahead and do my rest of my liner, lashes, my whole face, because the only thing left to do is the all nighter setting spray, which is fairly straightforward, but I'm gonna see how everything goes, how it wears by time I'm done applying the rest of my makeup, which could probably take about a half an hour, sometimes 45 minutes if I'm watching a show while I'm doing it. So I'll be back and we'll see how everything looks, okay? All right, I am back and really quickly, I'll pop up on the screen what everything looked like all together without false lashes. Cause I know some of you guys like to see how the eye look and stuff looks for those of you that don't like to wear false lashes. And then I went ahead and popped in in the inner corner, at least I attempted to. I tried to pop in the glaze shade in the inner corner, but it wasn't really working. I tried wetting it. It was a tiny bit better, but it just wasn't really showing up. And then I kind of mixed it with honey and it's just like barely, barely there. It's a little tiny bit. So overall look all complete except one final touch, which is the all nighter spray in honey. I did test this out when I did my massive holiday haul that video that I did to smell it. And you guys, yeah, it really smells like honey. So if it bugs you, if that honey smell bugs you, forget it. If you like it, there you go. I I'm still indifferent about it because I just think of tea when I smell honey and then I just want a nice warm hot tea like chamomile and then that'll put me to sleep. So then I get it's I guess it's relaxing. I don't know. Let's spray that all over. 
it's weird. It feels like I am spraying myself in honey and I get nervous. Maybe that's what it is because it's like, I don't want to be all sticky, but it's classic all nighter spray. It's not matte, it's not dewy. It's just supposed to keep it the way it is and just help it to last longer. So wrapping up, that was the entire kit all thrown onto my eyes and face. And what do I have to say about that? $59, hmm. Would I personally buy it again now after using it? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't actually. Um, it just wasn't what I was hoping for. I was hoping that the palette was a little bit more pigmented. The only shade that I'm like really, really like, yeah, this is gorgeous, is the California Honey, but do I have other gold shimmery metallic honey shades in my collection? Yes, yes I do. So overall, that's the only one that stood out. Oh, I actually, I should take that back. I do really like the way that looks with the kind of yellow transition out. So that was a really unique shade. So I guess I don't have anything that does that, but it was some, a little bit of difficulty to blend that out and kind of build it up. So I don't know, I don't know. For me, it's not like 100% sold. I don't really like the smell of the spray enough. I do not like the eye primer. I think that that was just odd, but I do like the eyeliner. I actually already put it in my collection. Let me grab it. <laughs> the eyeliner, I really like, but I like those. So I personally would just go with the eyeliner and maybe I would get the Naked Honey palette, but now I'm scared. Now I don't know how those ones go. Everybody had such good reviews on it. I think that these hopefully are just a different formula or it's just, I don't know. I. That's it, it's a little bit of a bummer to me. I do really like the way this eye look turned out, so I shouldn't like knock it too hard. I do think it's really pretty, but it took a little more effort than I'm willing to wanna spend $59 on. You know what I mean? You know? But my taste might be different than yours, so please sound it off in the comments below if this is still a kit that you would be interested in purchasing, or do you have the Naked Honey palette, and how do you feel about it? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is it something that I need? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, because I love getting a chat going and finding out what are deal breakers for you, and what's not, and what are you interested in, and what's not, because I'm just one opinion here in the YouTube world, and you guys have an opinion too, and you guys have a thing or two to say about a thing or two. So go ahead and say, go ahead and talk about it. What do you think about this kit? What do you think? Anyways, if you are new here to my channel and my face and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would consider doing that right now, going down and tapping that little red subscribe button that way you get notified when I post new videos, which is about three times a week. Thank you so much for coming in and checking out my Urban Decay Honey Pot review video and see what I have to say. And I really hope that each and every one of you out there, each and every one of you, yes you, go out there and have a great freaking awesome wonderful happy lovely day or night because i usually upload at night so i hope you have a good night's sleep and feel feel good feel great and get some rest bye it was weird not saying day at the end i'm not gonna lie it was weird <laughs>